Project Evaluation and Review Technique, PERT. These are the steps in PERT. Suppose that a project consists of seven activities. To manage the project by using PERT, first draw the network. The network begins with the activities that have no immediate predecessors. For this project, the activities that have no immediate predecessors are activity A and B. So the network starts with activity A and B. Activity C has activity A as an immediate predecessor, thus activity C comes out from activity A. Activity D and E have activity B as an immediate predecessor, thus both activity D and E come out from activity B. Activity F has activity C and D as immediate predecessors, thus activity F comes out from both activity C and D. Last but not least, activity G has activity E as an immediate predecessor, thus activity G comes out from activity E. So that's how a network is drawn. After the network is drawn, calculate the expected time for each activity. The expected time for an activity is calculated by using formula A plus 4M plus B divided by 6. For example, the expected time for activity A is calculated by taking 1 plus 4 times 2 plus 3 and dividing this by 6. After the expected time for each activity is calculated, assign the expected time to the network. The expected time of an activity is put here in the box. Next, determine the earliest start and the earliest finish for each activity. Earliest start and earliest finish for an activity are put here in the box and they are both determined from the start node to the finish node. For the activity at the start node, the earliest start is zero. Here, the activities at the start node are activity A and B. So the earliest start for both A and B is zero. The earliest finish of an activity is determined by adding the earliest start with the expected time of the activity. For activity A, the earliest finish is 0 plus 2, which is equal to 2. For activity B, the earliest finish is 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. For subsequent activities, the earliest start is the largest earliest finish of the activities behind them. The activity behind activity C is activity A, and the earliest finish of A is 2, so the earliest start of C is 2. The earliest finish of the subsequent activities is determined in the same manner that is by adding the earliest start with the expected time. For activity C, the earliest finish is 2 plus 5, which is equal to 7. The activity behind activity D and E is activity B. And the earliest finish of B is 4. So the earliest start of D and E is 4. For activity D, the earliest finish is 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8. For activity E, the earliest finish is 4 plus 3, which is equal to 7. The activities behind activity F are activity C and D. The earliest finish of C is 7, while the earliest finish of D is 8. So the earliest start of F is 8. For activity F, the earliest finish is 8 plus 7, which is equal to 15. Last but not least, the activity behind activity G is activity E, and the earliest finish of E is 7, so the earliest start of G is 7. For activity G, the earliest finish is 7 plus 6, which is equal to 13. Next, determine the latest finish and the latest start for each activity. Latest finish and latest start for an activity are put here in the box, 
and they are both determined from the finish note to the start note. For the activity at the finish node, the latest finish is the largest earliest finish in the network. Here, the activities at the finish node are activity G and F, and the largest earliest finish in the network is 15, so the latest finish for both G and F is 15. The latest start of an activity is determined by subtracting the expected time from the latest finish of the activity. For activity G, the latest start is 15 minus 6 which is equals to 9. For activity F, the latest start is 15 minus 7 which is equals to 8. For subsequent activities, the latest finish is the smallest latest start of the activities behind them. The activity behind activity E is activity G, and the latest start of G is 9, so the latest finish of E is 9. The latest start of the subsequent activities is determined in the same manner that is by subtracting the expected time from the latest finish. For activity E, the latest start is 9 minus 3, which is equal to 6. The activity behind activity D and C is activity F, and the latest start of F is 8, so the latest finish of D and C is 8. For activity D, the latest start is 8 minus 4, which is equal to 4. For activity C, the latest start is 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. The activities behind activity B are activity E and D. The latest start of E is 6, while the latest start of D is 4. So the latest finish of B is 4. For activity B, the latest start is 4 minus 4, which is equal to 0. Last but not least, the activity behind activity A is activity C, and the latest start of C is 3, so the latest finish of A is 3. For activity A, the latest start is 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. Next, calculate the slack for each activity. Slack for an activity is calculated by taking the latest start minus with the earliest start of the activity. For example, the slack for activity A is 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. After all slacks are calculated, determine the critical path of the network. Critical path of the network is made up by the activities with zero slack. Here, the activities with zero slack are activity B, D and F. Thus, the critical path is B, D, F. Finally, determine the expected project completion time. The expected project completion time is given by the latest finish of the activities at the finish node. Here, the latest finish of the activities at the finish node is 15. Therefore, the expected project completion time is 15 days. <laughs>